It's Wednesday morning, Glads. I'm Corinne McAfee. And I'm Hannah Hall, and this is your KWHS News. First, here's the latest news from the Counseling Center. The first and maybe final college visit for the year happens tomorrow when the reps from Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University visit us. See them in the lower comments. Seniors, with the graduation around the quarter, we know how eager you are to get out of this place. So be sure to take care of any conditions and fees this week or next. If you wait till the last minute, and some of you will, trust us, the line will be long. Taking care of this early means marking one more thing off your checkout sheet that gets you out the door faster. Return your library materials, pay your lunch fees, and see Ms. Grandizio in the business office to clear any other conditions and fees. Underclassmen, we also want to get a head start on clearing conditions and fees before the end of the year so we can get our grades on time. The deadline to return library materials is May 10th. See Ms. Grandizio easier to get your conditions and fees paid early and you too can avoid the long line and get your summer started after your last exam. Students, if you want a locker for next year and do not have one this year, be sure to see your advisory teacher to sign up for a locker. You must have a partner. Put both names on the sign-up sheet. If you don't want a locker this time, you don't have to do anything. When August rolls around and you think you will need a locker, see Miss Price in the main office. She'll help you out. And speaking of lockers, it is a good time to start cleaning those out and taking your stuff home. All lockers will need to be signed off before you leave in May. Seniors, you're first up, so bring a box to clear out those lockers. And now, let's check in with Miss Betsy to hear what's cooking for today and tomorrow for lunch. Happy Wednesday, everybody. Today we're having lasagna. I'll be busy making that for you today. And then, on Thursday, we're going to have a limited amount of Philly steak and cheese because we were um, short of the beef. But we're going to substitute some barbecue rib sandwiches. See you then. Have a great one. Bye-bye. Seniors! 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 If you have a positive balance on your account, you need to come and see me. If you don't know, come see me. I can tell you because the sooner you get to see me about your balance, we will get the money back to you. Thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye. Thanks, Miss Betsy. Students, just like conditions and fees, if you owe money in the cafeteria, you will want to clear this too before graduation or final exams. Don't wait until the last minute. You can always add money to your lunch account by going to online or seeing Ms. Betsy directly. Glads, want a chance to earn some volunteer hours and help our community? Join FCCLA when they have their road cleanup on Tuesday, May 8th after school from 3 to 4.30 p.m. Sign up with Miss Chip in room 202 or Miss Tucci in room 163. Seniors, listen up. Mark your calendars with the following important dates. May 14th and 15th, Senior Finals. May 16th, Senior Awards Night at 6 p.m. in the WHS Auditorium. May 17th, Senior Breakfast at the Cheyenne Mountain Resort at 7.15. Tickets are $22 in the business office. You cannot buy them at the door. Do you have goosebumps yet? We do. May 18th, Mandatory graduation practice at noon in Bowers Gym. Don't miss it. And of course, Saturday, May 19th is your big day. Showtime is 7.30 in the small gym. Please be on time and ensure your family members have their tickets. When we come back, we'll have information for other events happening this week. But first, here's Jeremiah Jones with our Gladiator Sports Update. It's Wednesday morning, Glads. I'm Jeremiah Jones with your Gladiator Sports Update. Gentlemen, if you missed the meeting for men's basketball on Monday, please check in with Coach Munoz in room 207 for the details. Coach Johnson, the new men's basketball coach, is holding open gyms for basketball starting tomorrow in Bowers from 6 to 8 p.m. These will run every Tuesday and Thursday until school is out. Hey ladies, volleyball open gyms happen every Wednesday in Bowers gym from 3.15 to 4.15 until May 16th. Starting on June 5th, times and dates will change to Tuesdays and Thursdays from 8 to 10 a.m. in Bowers. Check in with Miss Lacey in room 105 for details and information. Auditions for fall color guards started on Monday and conclude tomorrow in Bowers Gym. Please note the times are different for today and for finals tomorrow. These tryouts are open to ladies and gentlemen in all grade levels. Wear workout type clothes and come learn something new. No experience is necessary. For more information, contact Coach Laswell at this email address. Our Ultimate Frisbee team played its final match on Saturday against the Coronado Cougars and took a painful loss of 13-6. The team would like to thank everyone who came out and supported them this year. Our Lady Gleds Tennis had a match on Monday against Fountain Valley and showed no love for the Danes, beating them 5-2. The ladies head into regionals tomorrow and Friday at Cheyenne Mountain High School starting at 9 a.m. The boys swim and dive team had a fabulous showing at the Trojan Invite this past week. The boys are getting really good at PRs as they set 14 personal records against the Trojans. The team is traveling to Pueblo South tomorrow for the last dual meet of the season. The boys in blue took to the Diamond on Friday against Sierra 
Sierra and captured a big win with a score of 11 to nothing. The boys really need your support tomorrow as they travel to the Purple School to take on the Grizzlies at 4 p.m. Come out and cheer on the Glads in their quest for another win. In track and field news, our Glads are making names for themselves in several events. Both teams finished 5th of 34 teams at the Cougar Invite last weekend. On the ladies' side of the house, Shynesty Johnson placed 1st in the 100 meters and 3rd in 200 meters. Aaliyah Ricketts placed 1st in both the long and triple jump events. The track team is splitting duties this week as part of the team travels to Dutch Clark Stadium while the other half travels to Canyon City for the Blossom Invite. Our ladies' soccer team made up another rescheduled game last night against Canyon City. The ladies couldn't kick in the win and dropped an L into their books. The ladies had a strong season and will return many excellent players next year. Stay tuned on Friday when Doc joins us with this week's health tip of the week. That's it for our Gladiator Sports Update. Good luck to our athletes this week. I'm Jeremiah Jones. Now back to you, Corinne and Hannah. Thanks, Jeremiah. Glads, if you're struggling with a class, paper, or have a big test coming up, you should check out the Thursday tutoring sessions brought to you by NHS. Stop by the library to, to pick up for your pass on Thursday morning, then come back during advisory for your session. Computers will be available for you. Glads, mark your calendars for yearbook distribution on Friday, May 11th. You can still buy your yearbook for $65. If you wait until May 11th, books will be $70 cash only. Seniors. The yearbook staff has a great deal for you. If you haven't purchased your yearbook, you can get this year's yearbook plus one other yearbook from your freshman, sophomore, or junior year for only $80. It's a pretty sweet deal, and you should totally jump on it now. See Ms. Grandizio to buy your book now. If you want to check out some very cool artwork by our WHS and Mesa peers, stop by the UMB Bank on Security Boulevard to see the High School Artist Showcase. The official opening reception and awards is tonight from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. You can drop by the bank anytime during business hours to see the outstanding artwork our peers have created. The show will be on display until Friday the 4th. Students, if you drop the ball in your courses this semester, you can still make up the credits to get back on track. Register by May 31st to begin your credit recovery classes on June 4th. You can take up to two classes for $100 each. See your counselor for details and go online to register. That's all for our news today. I'm Corinne McAfee. And I'm Hannah Hall, and this is your KWHS News.